opening kickoff. What is up, YouTube? NYKF31 here, bringing you a online ranked game of NCAA 12. Yet another one of these frauds. This guy can't, has a, had a record of 66 and 22. I'm running with the flex ball with Florida and 4-3 cover two. And you'll see how the game plays out. But anyway, I wanted to throw my two cents in in this nightmare. This just ridiculous, nasty, filthy, disgusting situation at Penn State. I really don't know what to say. Really. It's so far and away the worst scandal that a college program has ever They're calling an audible. gone through. I mean, everything else that you can compare it to, um, SMU, into the, back on the, the, the Miami Hurricane Pell Grant scandal, all of that is way back in the rearview mirror when you compare it to this. You have a national figure, not just an ordinary run of the mill head coach. You have one of the most well known people in America, one of a national figure in Joe Paterno. Harboring a serial child rapist on his coaching staff. And the university complicit in its cover up of this. I mean it's it's so out of the realm of reality. I mean, you know the saying, you know, the truth is often stranger than fiction. I mean, this certainly is a textbook case of that. I mean, it just defies belief how something like this could happen on every level. And everyone is dirty in this. From top, I shouldn't say everyone. The only people that are innocent and clean are the players. I feel bad for the players who've had to uh, live their lives. Um, in the middle of this circus and have had to go through a week of practice and a week of their day-to-day -day life you know learning that they've been coached by a fraud and maybe a criminal you know Papa Joe you know squeaky clean Joe you know this is so far and away worse than anything Jim Tressel's ever done. We've known we've known what a fraud Tressel's Tressel's been exposed as being. But can you imagine being a Penn State player this week? I, mean, I don't know how those guys focus on anything. I mean, it's just a mess. But you know, be that as it may, they're the only innocent parties in this. But everyone, when the least dirty figure is a grad assistant who was witness to child rape and didn't report it to the police didn't didn't at first immediately try to give the guy a beat down and save that poor kid but didn't tell the police he at least told somebody he told Joe and I guess he figured that Joe would do the right thing so at the very least you could accuse McQuarrie of cowardice but you know, from him up to Sandusky, who's just a monster, but you can't even call him a human being. He's just a depraved, sick animal. And to Joe, who, for whatever reason, decided this needed to be swept under the rug instead of, you know, being the guy that he's held himself up to be this in, in his entire life and do the moral, right, decent thing, even if it is at the cost of your program. You know, best to take the hit and, you know, take your medicine at the moment the crime happens than to deal with this, because now his entire life is just a fraud. Isn't everything he's accomplished, you know, over his, you know, 50-some-odd years of coaching, 
all the good that he's done in his life, people are, are only going to remember, you know, this nasty, seedy, disgusting scandal. And it's, and he only has himself to blame. You know, I don't feel any sympathy to paternal whatsoever. You know, it just goes to show you that, you know, how you act and how you conduct yourself when the cameras aren't on you is such a true you know revelation of your true character and it's funny people who are two-faced like this first and ten ball on the 33 the truth always seems to come out in ways that are the most compromising and you can't get any more compromised than this it's just a horrible 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 nasty disgusting story and I hope Sandusky burns in hell for all time for what he's done to those innocent kids and I think Joe rightfully paid the price and he might still be in hot water I'm sure there's gonna be civil lawsuits I'm sure of it and we don't know what else may emerge out of this but you know I really feel bad for the you know fans of the program who supported Joe Paul you know all their lives I've been to Happy Valley I've been to the, I've been on that campus I attended a football camp on that campus you know the people in that town are good people those fans are great fans they don't deserve this the players don't deserve this and it's just you know sick and disgusting and unimaginable how this is playing out the way it the way it has you know that's really all I have to say about that you know I just want to throw my whole two cents in and just you know express my disgust over it and you know you guys out there who are either Penn State fans Penn State students Penn State alumni I'd love to hear what you guys think how are you guys taking this how's the community taking it I, I I saw in the news a couple of um, days ago about students rioting and protesting and whatnot, but I really didn't really pay attention to the um, specifics as far as, as far as that go. Um, I would hope that most people are as outraged as I am about this, and how most people are, at least who I've spoken this to this about. I hope there aren't, you know, factions in that community that are somehow trying to justify this or think that Paterno was, you know, has acted appropriately. But I guess there's always going to be that kind of, um, you know, pocket somewhere when dealing with a situation like this. When, when, I, when, I, when a prominent figure is involved in this kind of, you know, scandal. But, um, be that as, may, as it may, it appears we'll be hearing about this for some time to come. And... It's unimaginable that it could get much worse than it already has, but it might. It very well might. You never, you don't know. So that's all I got for now. Talk to y'all later. Peace. He makes it to the 48-yard line. Always a risk when you go for it here on fourth down, but. Laterals back and he's got space. Makes it to the 34. The offense calls a timeout and that was their first timeout. That makes it first and 10. First down, 10 yards to go. This is the eighth play of this drive. Here's the option. Gets out to around the 25. Florida will take a timeout. That's their second of the half. Brings up second and one. 